So I wanted to show you how to draw TLC plate using ChemDraw software. So in order to do that, you need to first install the professional ChemDraw from this uh, link. Okay, if you go to this link and register using your Western email address, they will send you a ChemDraw verification code and registration number and installation guidelines. So check your email and follow the guidelines and you should be able to install, install the ChemDraw software on your computer. So once you have it installed, open up the software and this is what it looks like. And on the left side, you will find the toolbar, right? On the toolbar, you will see a little chromatogram. So click on that, that chromatogram, and click and drag on the white template here. Click and drag, click, click and drag here. So that's, uh, you have a TLC plate with multiple links. Um, that's not what I want right now, so I'm just going to select them out and delete. You can customize the TLC plate, so I'm just going to use customize lane. So click on it, uh, click on the chromatogram, and click on the white template. It will pop up a window here. This is where you enter the number of lanes, so I'm just going to do four for now. So let's say four lanes. So now I have TLC plate with four lanes. My TLC plate is skinny, so I'm just gonna, gonna make it bigger. Oh, come on, yeah, all right. So now I have four lanes, bigger TLC plate. And okay, so if you glide the mouse over, you see a rectangular blue box here. So these are the lanes, okay. And if you point the mouse over this little black dot, you can move the component up and down, right? So they should be from the starting lane, right? You haven't run the TLC. So this is the starting point. After you completed TLC development, then they should be, those. you see the uh, solvent front here and some of the spot will be rise or some will stay behind. So you can do that. So let's say this is my fluorine, so it, it goes to the top, it rises to the top. And fluorino somewhere here, fluorino somewhere here, and let's say this is my mixture. So mixture is a, uh, has three components, right? It's a mixture of all the three standards. So I only have one spot here. So you can add uh, more spots into this link. So glide the mouse over, you get rectangular blue box, right click, and you can add spots. So one spot appear here. I need another one, so add another one. So then I can move this one up here. Yeah. Okay. So let's say I need another lane um, with uh, for my unknown. So I'm missing another lane. So I'm just gonna glide over it. You get rectangular box and add lane here. Okay. Whoa, the lane here, the lane here is, it, it is a lane here, but with the spot, the spot is too small here. But that's okay, the size of the spot doesn't matter. But you can also duplicate the lanes. You know? Let's say I want a lane with similar spot size. So glide over it, duplicate the lane. Oh, now I have a lane here, but I have three spots here. Okay, so my unknown, let's say, only have two components. So I need to delete out one of this spot. Let's say I'm going to delete this one out, delete this spot. Yeah, so then I can delete this lane out. Oh, delete the whole lane. Delete the lane. Oh, duplicated lane. Did I say delete the lane? Yes, delete. So delete. Yeah, so that's much better. And then you can color the spot. So red. I'm going to color it blue, so point to the spot and right click and color. Uh, this is going to be pink. So, okay. So, anywhere you want to go, you can put a cursor, right click, you will see all the selection of add lane or add spot, okay? Or delete or duplicate lanes. You can do that. Now I have to label the TLC plate. So, let's say the first one is flooring. Okay, so I have to lay. You have to label the TLC plate. Yeah, so I put a flooring here, or you can simply put, I don't know, 
which is number 2345, right? So 2345, you can do that too. That take up less space here, right? And you can define what 2, 3, and 4, 5 are using the text here, using the text, right? Florinol, maybe 3 is Florinol, right? 4 is my mixture, or reference mixture, 5 is my unknown, right? So you can do that here as well, okay? So now inserting RF values. So for RF value, you can just simply type in Word document. It's fine. So if you want to put it here, it's also fine. RF value of 1 equals, let's say, 0 0.89. So that's my experimental RF value, right? Yeah, you don't want a chem draw RF, RF value. For example, if you point a mouse over it, right click, it says show RF value of this spot, right? So show RF value. Notice the RF value is 0 0.73. So this is ChemDraw generated RF value. You don't want that one. You want to use the experimental data value. Yeah, your own experimental data. So I'm going to delete that out. Yeah. So once you're satisfied with that, then you can copy and paste, right? Select all, copy and paste into uh, pre-lab and post-lab report.